Okay, so just the final part of our look at the closed guard um, position. Um, we've done all the different um, ways of breaking the person down from closed guard, moving into um, transitions, and now we're going to look at how to get from open guard, various types, common types of open guard, back to closed guard or safe position. Again, anytime he says on his knees, just two knees, and that sort of thing, an open guard, maybe a a, a, a lasso with a spider hook. Any times on his knees, I can just take my legs and basically pull him through the close car. Then we can start breaking him down and working all the stuff, you know, that we've been with, that we've played with. Um, sometimes if I'm playing a shallow lasso or playing an open guard, like a shallow lasso with a spider hook, double sleeve, Shane might go to combat base. Notice the way he's connected his right elbow to the inside of his right knee. And if, if I actually just um, try to pull close guard from here, it's just not going to happen unless you've got extremely long legs because now his base is widened. So, from this position, I keep the foot on the hip. If I was playing a spider hook um, type of open guard, I'll put my foot back, so my right foot's back on his left hip. And if the elbow's on the inside, I'm going to hip out and just go shin to shin. Once I'm here, I make an X so that uh, my shin is going in one direction and Shea's shin is going in the other. I use that connection with his foot to elevate um, his right leg off the mat. And notice when I do that, I'm going to off balance him and his elbow comes away from his body. So we're here. I know he wants to come up, so I'm going to let go of that and now just shoot straight into the closed guard. His reaction will be when I do the kazushi, the off balance, he wants to come back up again. We'll just look for another angle again. So with a shallow lasso, foot on the hip, I've inside control of my right leg. I can hip out, go shin to shin. And now my goal is to get the closed guard where I can do all these setups and, and submissions that we've, we've been looking at. So I'm just going to use that to off balance him. He will keep the sleeve control, just to tilt him onto the side. You notice the way his elbow was coming, his right elbow's come away. As I do that, I take this foot and I'm waiting for him to come up. I let go of that sleeve and then I can just put him straight into those guards. Let's just get another angle. The, the important detail is I need to bait him. So I will let go of, of my right hand double sleeve so that he can has a post to come up with. So again, shallow lasso, foot on the hip. I can take my foot out, hip out, and just get shin to shin. I keep double sleeve until I tilt him over. Now from here, I just let go and drape this here. As he comes up now, I just pull him straight into close guard. Um, that's one option. Um, second one, just on the same bro. You can do the same with the elbow on the outside. It's the same technique, but another thing you can do is, especially when his elbow's on the outside. So from there, I can do shin to shin, and I can still do the same move. I'll just try it back again. But another thing we can think about from that shallow lasso is I can take my foot out and bring my shin underneath the pipe. So even though it doesn't fit in at the minute, it will when I kind of turn it more into like an off balance, just that kind of like a scissor sweep position. Once it's there, I can just pull in and then let go again and then he's going to come up and put him back into the close guard. Just one more to back to the mirror. So he's in combat base, I'm playing an open guard, um, foot on hip, I want to get back to close guard, this time his elbow's on the outside, I can just take this back off and kind of bring it under, hip out, so it's more, it's just wedged just between his elbow and the outside of his right knee, and then I kind of just like go into a scissor sweep position here, just sort of off balance him a little bit, and now from there when I let go and he tries to come up again, now I just pull him straight into close guard, and then we can do all the submissions and things that we um, previously looked at. So, um, just finding the close guard um, when your opponent is in combat base.